Hey guys, GameWay3800 here once again for the second time today. Uh, if you didn't see before, uh, I uploaded a video for beta testing the new actual files, but uh, I had the wrong file installed. So that testing video is invalid for testing purposes, but it does still show off the a brand new Aiden Man track of Tacoma World Finals Custom. And I will leave it up so that you can see that track. However, this should be the right version of the actual test. And we're at another new map. This is New Orleans 2013 by Duck Holiday. We're back with the custom orange overboard. And we're looking for a few things this update. Looking to see how the tires handle with wobbling. We're here to see how the rims handle with braking or not braking, because before they would have weird spiking issues. And we are also here to look at the track. And of course, any oddities we see will be recorded and noted. Now this is running a custom tune of both my spec and Mike Bev's spec as per uh, testing requirements. This is my own custom tune. And it seems to be doing pretty good wobble-wise. There's like a little bit of gyration there, but it's only because the ground here is uneven, I think. It's not like perfectly flat, you know? It's got micro... Uh, things in it. At least here the dirt is actually dirt. It's not concrete. Yeah, look at that full power second gear drifting. No wobble. Let's go ahead, do some more big air. It lands really good. Oh no. Bruh. Alright, let's go ahead see how these tires perform with a lot of PSI added. You can see here that the lowest that the tires go is 5 PSI instead of like 0. And it still goes all the way up to 15 PSI. Alright, let's see how these tires handle. We should get a lot more air. Look at that. Did it just break your suspension? Shut up, Adobe. Trying to undo that suspension damage there. Huh. So far, no damage to the wheels, like the wheels seem to find out. We are still noticing a little bit of wobble. And right here is why you see Chevy is not being included in the newest update. It needs work. Let's go ahead and do a full speed run into a wall. That way we can test the rims if they break under any circumstances. There's still some wobble with max PSI. Alright, full speed right into a wall. Let's see those rims. No damage there. And no damage to this wheel either. Very nice. 
the wheel is breaking was our biggest problem and that looks to have been fixed now, I do believe this is uh, because we have less verts but the wheel is still way less and they have more verts than stock wheels I do believe so it's not all bad only thing left to do is tackle that little bit of excess wobble when there's that uh, max PSI I know that not everyone runs max PSI but those who want to get big air and get a little bit more realistic bounce some people like to run the more PSI so that they can send it now even though the tires are as stable as they've ever been uh, and that inherently makes the axle stronger because there's less in instabilities uh, Wheels can still break off Huh Now if we go ahead put on another tune here just the base tune for let's let's go ahead and do Mish Overboard. I believe this one's the Jam Customs. Maybe it is. I don't know. This should still have all the test parts. And it's not got the new test ZFs. And I'm, I'm just going to check and see which body this is. Yep, Jam Customs. And I'm double checking that it's got all the right uh, test parts. Yep, it looks like it. So now, if we go to these tires, we'll see. Now, right now it's stock tune, but these have not been changed, I don't believe. So, yep, they do have a little bit of wobble, even at stock PSI. And if we go up to 15 PSI, I believe that'll be a, quite excessive. So, this is what we've been dealing with for the past week or so. If you guys have any updates, or not updates, any suggestions for us about the wobble on high PSI, do let us know, because look at that. Now, as seen before, on the other tires, I'm going back to stock overboard here, and then I'm going to up the tire pressure. Like back to back, you'll see it's quite the difference. Shut up, phone. Make sure you can see significantly less wobble than on the old tires. But there's still just a little bit there. A little bit of gyration. Like going back to back, you can really see it there. One final thing I want to test is how does the test preset look? Because I was told that my chassis colors are broken in the last test video that was actually published. Let's go to test. And it will probably be this test one. And then I'll show off one final truck. And that'll be it for this episode.
chassis color seems fixed. I don't know what was broken in the last one. All seems well now. And how does this preset handle things? Is it max tire pressure? It is at 11 PSI. At 11 PSI, there doesn't seem to be any wobble. So that's really good. If 11 PSI is going to be the new standard, I would not be fussed about it. Bro, <laughs> what am I doing? Right, and that seems to be about it for, like, testing. There's some momentum transfer, like when you hit jumps really hard, but that's not wobbling. Wobbling is when you uh, do the, like, hard drifts, and, like, it's get getting and losing grip really, really fast and causing the gyrations and hard wobbles you saw on the old tires. Like you can see here, pretty stable. The only time we got some tire movement is when we hit those cars. And if this is the right tune, this will be the final truck we take a look at. Yep, replace current. This is Blue Crush by Hawkshire 05 on the old F-250. Changed the specular and wanted to see how it looks. Uh, it seems like a specular to me, Bluther. Now here's another example of the old tires. These are Goodyear's. I do not believe that these tires have been updated yet. And let's go ahead and see how Hawk has his truck tuned. 12.5, 12.45, whatever, same thing. And doing a full power drift. Okay, we just fall over because he's got like a lot of grip or something. And you can see there's quite a bit of wheel movement. Not as much as was on the SA, uh, SIR tires, SARs. But there's still some movement there, you see that? He also has like no brakes. <laughs> That'll be it for this video. Saw some new tracks, some new trucks. If you guys enjoyed and are hyped for 1.17, and please do go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course don't forget to subscribe as well. We are still aiming for a June release of 1.17, but if we don't make that, I will let you know. It's a target, it's not a guarantee. There's a difference. I'll see you all in the future. Goodbye.